Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. Oh, this you crazy mother. So I do apologize for this session. This is a slightly different microphone than normal. Um, it's my Android microphone, uh, my iPhone microphone has broken. Uh, which was, I actually found out after I recorded two full videos, which I should have checked anyway. Bit of a pain, but oh well. Um, so if the microphone's a little different from normal, I do apologize. Uh, it might be better. <laughs> anyway, today I'll be reviewing do.com. And do is essentially an application where you want to store all of your meetings in one place. Uh, you want to coordinate everything from preparing for them um, to actually all of the actions and outcomes and follow-ups after. So what do.com allows you to do is basically bring in all of that functionality into one simple place to coordinate all of the meetings for your day. Whether you're in a team or you're an individual, uh, this is a great way to kind of get started. So what I want to do is run over the core features and then overview a little bit, little bit of the pricing and tell you what my opinion is of do.com. I will be doing a separate review on the iOS application um, and also checking out uh, a couple more of their features individually as well. So let's get stuck in. Here is your do dashboard. And essentially what comes up when you start is a simple stream of all of your events across the day. So as you can see, it's started to pull in my Google Calendar um, input, uh, all my events from it which is great because I can see all of that uh, at any given time. So here is an example, 6 a.m. Here's a meeting in the morning, here's a meeting in the evening. And once you click into each one, they all have their own like mini dashboard where you can view um, all of the information relevant to that meeting. So let's say this meeting is press ups. Uh, what I can do here is I can set the description um, I can set the agenda items specifically and add notes to each of them below. Um, so for example, let's say this was an actual meeting, um, say open meeting um, and maybe say second item discuss uh, project A. So as you can see, uh, I'm starting to add agenda items. Uh, what I could do here is I can add specific notes. So if I said, oh, open meeting, John didn't arrive. And that note can be um, something that I can either, I can either do the following, I can follow it up, which makes it basically a task, or I can make it an outcome, which means that it's a success from the meeting. Maybe John not arriving is a success. I'm not too sure. But let's say you said, uh, you know, open meeting with the metrics, we reached 3,000 users, that's an outcome. Maybe the follow-up is uh, John didn't arrive uh, because his car parking space was not set or organized. So as you can imagine, you can, you can have those two sorts of things. And you can have unlimited notes down here as well. You can also mention people on notes. So let's say if I wanted to mention, um, oh, no, it doesn't work on individual accounts as yourself. But you can, uh, if it's a follow-up, uh, you can actually attach the email you want the person to follow up to. So if I wanted to add this to my follow-ups um, as something I need to do later, then that attaches automatically, mentions me, and will put it in the follow-up items uh, for later. So that's what a, essentially what a, I'll just remove this, sorry. That's essentially what a uh, meeting kind of dashboard looks like individually. And that's really useful because you can kind of coordinate that with teams quite easily. Uh, you can kind of be the big note taker and the big meeting uh, coordination here. You can also add other people down at the bottom here um, using their email address. Uh, you can invite them to the meeting, allow them to see all of that information there. Uh, the only other thing as well, the other things you can do as well is change the access, the notifications, and also go straight to the calendar notification. Attach any files, and you can also attach files to specific notes. So let's say uh, John came into the meeting in discussion A and brought in the PDF, and it was attached here. So you can have that there, which is quite valuable, uh, or you can have it as a general attachment. 
You can save as a template as well, uh, which I think is great. Um, I'll come back to templates in a minute. Private notes is the ability to add anything that you don't want anyone else to see. So let's say you're angry at John, <laughs> you want to write some private notes about it, um, then that's a perfect place to do it. Over here in share, you can actually email the meeting agenda over to specific people. So if you wanted to kind of preempt and kind of be a little more efficient, then that's the way to do it. You can also do that with the meeting summary. So after the meeting with all of the notes, uh, you can post it on Slack so that your team can get notified, which is really valuable. Again, they've got some really nice integrations. That I can go into more detail. Potentially in another session, I'll kind of run over them in a bit. You can export to Evernote and Zapier, which I think is great. So you could set up a Zapier workflow to kind of tell other apps what to do. So you're going to send this meeting um, over to Gmail and it's going to email it to Bob or I don't know, anything you want, really. Uh, you can post a picture on Instagram every time a meeting's created at your team. I'm not sure. Uh, you can, The world's your oyster with that one. Export to Evernote, I think, is really valuable as well because a lot of people don't want to commit to uh, fully going into these sorts of applications, and that ability to export is quite good. You can copy and paste the whole thing, so you can maybe drop it into a Word document. Uh, meeting link uh, is actually really useful. So what you can do is copy the meeting link, open up a new tab, You know, let's say this is someone else opening it, and essentially they would get a prompt to install do, but they wouldn't have to install it to actually see all of the information, the agenda items, notes, and also if you wanted to, you can actually see the, the um, attachments as well, which is valuable. So you can actually see all of that information even though you're not specifically part of the team. So just going over to the left here um, and going back to this, uh, this dashboard, the main dashboard, um, and I'll click the do button which should get me back. Um, here we go. So over this side, um, sorry, I'll explain that later. Uh, over this side, you can actually scroll through dates um, and you can also add specific um, meetings in case you didn't want to import your calendar, which is quite valuable. You can even scroll through dates in the future as well. The nice thing here is uh, when you're kind of previewing stuff, so let's say I'm drive YouTube users, that's one of my goals on Google Calendar. I can actually email all of the participants involved uh, in advance, just literally saying something short, it could be anything. Um, so let's say, you know, you want to say, confirm that in the meeting, I'm running late, et cetera, they give you some examples. You can actually schedule a follow-up, so next week could be the follow-up for that. And you can attach some private notes before you go into that meeting, um, which is quite valuable. So a nice dashboard, and as you can see, let's say I flipped it tomorrow, um, it's going to look a lot nicer. You can also, um, for this is actually coordinate whether you're ready or not. Uh, you can request stuff and reschedule. Um, you can also, um, you know, opt in and opt out, which is great. Um, so all really valuable features. Also gives you a breakdown of when your meeting is. So up here, you get a notification rally, and this is where all your mentions are going to come through. Let's say you're in a team. You're going to see everything come through here, your, all your, um, your details. The nice uh, thing here is you get this kind of timeline. I think it's called timeline. Uh, basically, you can see all of the events coming up and actually action them without having to go to this central feed. Um, and let's say you're in one and you want to kind of view, oh, is that one, if am I traveling to London then? Great. You can also search people, meetings, and notes. So, for example, if I search for run, uh, what would happen is, logically, all of the run meetings would come up. It also segments it into agenda items and follow-up and outcomes, too, from those specific things. There's a really neat feature where you can actually see all of your follow-ups overall and all of your outcomes. You can filter that down as well um, to be specifically... Um, around you and the mentions that you have but it's a great way to kind of see things at a glance Tem a public templates are actually really valuable so if you wanted to import a specific template um, there's some great templates one-on-one -on -one meetings status update and brainstorming you can actually create your own templates which is quite valuable another great way to kind of coordinate everything and finally insights is personal insights here uh, which i haven't actually got to set up but you can actually see everything from a glance, um, how many meetings you had, how many hours you spent on it. Uh, last week was this much busier in terms of meetings. 
So this app is obviously and directly uh, really focused on um, organizing meetings, um, which is great. And one thing that I want to note is its ability to drag in Google Calendar and Google 365 Office for Teams. So you can actually connect those and all of the events will come through no matter what the updates are on each of them. So super valuable as well as those email notifications. In the settings as well, you can you know tweak certain things. You can set up that Zapier and Slack notification daily uh, in itinerary, itinerary, um, and also set up your team directly from here. So that's a great way to kind of get access. So there's a few more things you can do with Do, but I'm not going to go into detail with them because um, it's something that I think I can cover in more videos, but. What I want to do before I end is actually touch on the pricing. So, I mean, the great thing about Do is it's it, it's got a lot of functionality to it. Um, it's one of those applications that you kind of will consider because you have a lot of meetings. But here is some like information about the pricing. So let's say you just wanted it for yourself. Uh, let's say... You just want it for yourself. It's ten dollars a month, which is great, um, and it's specifically um, for specific people. Um, then you can actually have that as ten dollars per employee. There's a, a base rate discount of a hundred dollars per year for if you're adding person. So let's say you want to add three people to your team. If you're going to go with this option, it's probably going to cost you about three thousand six hundred pound uh, or dollars. Sorry. And for this one, it's going to cost you $300. Um, quite a neat way to subscribe. Um, I think you're going to have to find a real valid use case for this. Um, potentially something where you're above might five people and below, you know, 500 people. I don't know. Um, but maybe looking at those sorts of figures. I mean, do.com is used by a lot of different services. I think Twitter um, and a couple of other uh, major services use do to actually kind of coordinate all of their activities. Um, and I think I meant I saw CNN actually use it as well. But that pricing um, includes, so $10 a month includes unlimited meetings, follow-ups, share files to meetings, meeting timers, meeting templates, integrations, contextual meeting intelligence, and daily meeting agenda emails. And you also get some personal and organizational insights too. So overall, they have crammed a good amount into the application. I think it's well designed. Um, I think it's really uh, quite good looking. What I want to do is actually want to spend a week with this and actually invite some colleagues to it, kind of get their opinion on the service as a whole and whether it's a better way of coordinating everything. I know that in, in our team at Flashdix, we only have one general meeting every week and we have smaller sub meetings that last, you know, between five minutes to an hour. Um, but you know, it's really dependent, and um, we're a very small startup, so it might be for the kind of bigger teams. I can see this working with journalists quite heavily. I'm not sure why, but I feel that would be a great market, um, especially because uh, you kind of want to be coordinated and organised, and obviously keep track of everything that's mentioned. So uh, this could be a great way. Anyway, guys, that's just a quick overview of what do.com can do for you. Um, I definitely check it out. I'll, I'll include all the links in the description. And um, I feel free to check it out and let me know what you think, either on Twitter or via email, whenever, uh, wherever. Please do let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.